Hey guys and welcome back to ARK Multiplayer with Avak. Hello everyone. Oh, I'm so excited to get back to this game. Indeed. I see you get back to this game, like, it's been half an hour or something. Yep. We stopped just briefly just to check on our recordings, make sure that everything was uh, being captured correctly, adjust volumes, all of that kind of stuff that you need to do when you're uh, doing a let's play with multiplayer that you can't just do very quickly in a test when you're doing single player. There's so much stuff that changes when, when you're co-commentating with someone. Uh, the things we go through for you people. I know, right? Well, things I go through mostly for Stejo, because he, he's too afraid <laughs> to do this on his own. <laughs> I get it's, frightened of dinosaurs. Um, but well, what I did to be fair, do... <laughs> quite big. I suppose. What I did do in the break, though, is I messed around with some of my graphical settings. So the game now looks a bit better. Still being run on a toaster, but... Quite an expensive toaster, but... Yeah, it's it's a, I was going to say, that is a very expensive toaster. Now, it's turning night time, it is raining... The icon down in the bottom left that you'll be able to see on my screen shows and that mine. it's a little bit cold. And heat and temperature really does affect things. If you're too hot, you'll you'll need to drink more often. Things will go bad. And if you get really hot and really cold, you can die, from what I understand. Um, now, we need to find each other. If you bring up your map by pressing M, Stejo, yep. on the bottom left... Um, Around 80-30, or 30-80, oh, actually, it's... Bottom then left. Yeah, it's bottom then left, it's longitude then latitude. 30-80 yep. uh, is about where I think we are. 30-80 okay. to 40-70, if you haven't died and respawned somewhere. I have died and respawned, but I think I'm still around the general location of that. Okay, well, using this map... I believe... Oh, well, actually, we could just use the um, light in the sky as a point of reference and head towards them. We would eventually mm. meet up. If we, hit, if we hit a wrong one, though. I think we're better off just meeting at the coast. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. What? It has... Oh, God, there's like a little freaking dinosaur thing here. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I made a torch. I'm going to light the torch. Yep, I'm running around with mine. I can't see anyone with a torch anywhere nearby. Unless you're on the other side. No, that's the moon, I think. I'm by the dodos. Where we very first started. So yeah, Avak had this theory that we uh, we actually started right beside each other. I'm fairly certain I saw Stejo running straight past me when I first respawned. Because then he immediately said, Ah, oh, I'm being attacked! But more or less the same creature that was attacking me and killed me. And when he was talking about finding the the body of the new spawn, fairly certainly found my body. I'm watching to see where new areas get written to my map to find out where I am. Yeah, that's true. Now, one thing that you will notice, when I've got my torch out, I can pick up items. Basically, my left hand is free so I can still gather things if you're wielding any kind of tool like a pickaxe or a hatchet that isn't the case so it's worth noting that some things will say equip a torch or your hands to gather now what they're not doing is telling you to gather using the torch they're saying that if you equip a torch your other hand will be free so you can gather I was confused by that the first time I saw that message I thought maybe a torch had certain special harvesting properties but it doesn't. I'm murdering some dodos. Really? Maybe we are in different areas then. Well, the first thing we are going to want to do... Can you see the large green obelisk in the sky? In the night sky? Large green, green obelisk in the yeah, night it's, sky. It's like, it, well, it's not quite in the night sky. Oh yeah, I'm right beside it. Yeah, well, I'm heading over well, to I see now. I'm, I see I'm right beside it. I feel like I'm right beside it. It's probably quite far away, but... Uh, yes. Ooh. Is that you over there? It might be. I'm, I'm seeing lights in the distance. I don't I don't have my torch out. No, I do. Okay. Mm. Well, it was stars reflecting then. Now, I'm on the coast and I see no one with a torch, unfortunately. But I'm going to make my way to the, the large green obelisk. I'm going to pull out my torch and I'm going to make my way. Right, I now, think I can now make a water skin. 
Yes, there we go. By murdering some dodos. Well done. This insanely muscled man has managed to get himself a water skin. So, oh, so that's just a, a consumable that I can just use, or do I need to? Nope, like, you need fill it to up? fill it up with water, and it will leak. So eventually, it'll empty itself if you don't use it. Right. Now, the thing that you may have noticed, those watching my screen, is that food is perishable, very perishable, in fact. Mm. It will run out crazy fast. So uh, be aware of that. Don't just hoard your resources. No point. It'll it'll spoil. Well, apparently I am freezing right now. That's not good. My torch is keeping me a little bit warmer. Uh, I'm swimming. Oh, yes. In the water, when already cold, bad idea. Yeah, I was thinking that. I like how your character does a little jump when he gets out. It's like a little jump of joy. It's like, yay, I'm out of the water! <laughs> I'm no longer going to freeze. <laughs> to be fair, I'd be pretty inclined to do a, a little dance as well. I know, right? Um, okay, I'm going to grab myself cloth shirt. Because I feel like that's going to help me. I'm going to yep. grab myself some multiple cloth a long paints. way down. Damn it. I may have just broken my legs. Um, no, I, I seem to be okay. All right, moving on. That's one thing that we can specialize in, because to get the full set of cloth would actually take quite a bit, whereas if we take two or three, and then the other person take two or three, then we'll be yep. able to have the full set. And once well, we I've, got, I've got the shirt, the pants, and the hands. Right, oh, I'll go for the... I look like something out of feet. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> well done. Oh great! What? Wait, where's the um, where's this green thing went? It's just, it's run away. Uh, shouldn't have run away. Now, when I say green thing, I'm talking about the enormous one, the, yeah, the giant it. towering thing. Yeah, it's just behind a hill. Yeah, it's a massive big. Because there are smaller ones. There. Yeah, there there are a couple of laser beams right next to it, but we want to go for the very central giant one. Now the smaller ones, the uh, like laser beams that come down from like a an energy portal in the sky. Yes. Those are effectively supply crates. They're limited by level. Oh. Like you'll have to be a certain level requirement to access it, but it can have quite awesome stuff inside. That's really interesting. But the large one. I'm not really sure exactly what that is. I think it's a boss that you can... It's basically like a raid boss. Alright, okay. So it's got aspects of MMO as well. Yeah, kind of. That's quite interesting. I mean, we called it a raid boss just for... I guess because that's what uh, a couple of us were used to in this stream. And now stream. that shall be its name. Indeed. I've put away my torch for the time being because I was too hot. Yeah, it, it looks dangerous. like you were on a t completely different coast to me. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm getting closer and closer to the green thing, and I found another bay area. So I was oh. somewhere completely different. I'm, like, really close to the green thing now. Yeah, I'm I'm a ways off yet. Ah, right, okay, you're probably the bay there. that I started at. Yeah, I, 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 that's probably where I am now. I was on one a little bit further out. Mm. Yeah, I... I can see where where it was in the map that I initially spawned, yeah. and then where I spawned after that. Yeah, and that's where because I, I initially spawned there as well, and then I respawned there when I died. Wait, did I die? I don't know. I thought you just I ran. Died. Yeah. Okay. But, so I've got like a a random blob where I died. Hmm. Well, you might have just been killed while you were sleeping. Heavily, like so. Heavily. No, I still got all my items. Hello, giant spiked turtle. Please oh, don't eat there me. are multiple. Oh no, it just looks like one guy sitting on the beach. Well, I've got my torch out and I'm heading towards the green thing. Yep, turn your torch off. Okay, torch is off. Yep, that's you. Awesome. I'm like, just across the bay, right? 
Light your torch. I see you. Yep. Turn that's around. Me. Yep, that is you indeed. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to need to... I'll go ahead and I'll light a little campfire. Now, the thing with this is you light a light in a game like this and it becomes a beacon. There aren't too many people on the server right now, on this particular server, but my goodness, there are like hundreds, well, maybe not hundreds, maybe, maybe 30, 40 temporary servers that have been opened right now ahead of the release, which is in only an hour's time. There's going to be a oh, lot rubbish. of people joining. I um, uh, I jumped down into the water yeah. and like, injured myself quite severely. Yeah, that does not surprise me. I jumped down not too far and I hurt myself quite a lot. Right, I'm going to light a little fireplace. And as I was saying, you light a campfire, it becomes a bit of a beacon. People will gravitate towards it, so be prepared for that. To oh, split really? a stack. Yeah, yeah. That's how I ma made most of my friends in the stream. I just lit, lit a campfire at night and just stood there, waited. Oh. Loads of people showed up. It was awesome. We were just all chatting. And then uh, that's how I met, came across Viper. We, we, Dude, it was actually like really a, awesome. There's a Diplodocus here. Awesome. It's huge. Yes. Go out yes. shake Yeah, they will be, dude. I don't want to get hit by its tail. I'm also very injured, but I want to cross this water. There you go. Oh, looks like there's stepping stones here. Oh no, it's not stepping stones, it's uh, oh, there's a little ford. The dodos have taken exception to the fact that I've killed one of them. Oh really? Yes. You're being attacked by the dodos. It's yes, the march of the dodos. It is. They are no match for my awesome mate. Hello. Is that you with the torch there? Yeah, I just By the off. Triceratops, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm too hot. Where are you? I can't see you. Uh, I've just stepped away from there. I'm currently hunting down the dodos. Oh, right, okay. Level 20 dodo? I think not. Oh, my spear's dead. There we go. Oh, go it, down. It's got the same icon for, like, you breaking your spear as you get in Reign of Kings when you destroy something, when you pick it up. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. Now, where are the other corpses? Bloody Dodo, stop chasing me down. I don't want to wipe you all out. I just wanted one or two so I could make some shoes. I only wanted to make shoes out of you, jeez. I know. And they're getting all in my grill about it. How rude. <laughs> all oh, up in my grill. Oh no, my fire went out. Where are you, Steejo? Uh, I'm crafting something just now. Let's see. I am here. My light is up. Oh, I see the fire. You were right next to it earlier. I'm cooking some meat. If you've got any meat, pop it in the fire. It'll oh, last for a lot longer. Uh, oh no, the dapperlings! Oh. Hold E for more options. Alright, okay. There we go. You shall be an honorary dappling for a time. Until you start stealing and killing people. Especially if you steal people. Uh, I can't, can't stand by that. Killing them and eating them, maybe. But stealing them, that's just wrong. <laughs> there will be no people napping. Alright. Let me uh, invite you again. There you go. Oh, actually, I've got to wait. And there. Avak, level 3, request you to join the tribe. Yes. Dapperlings. I have no idea how. Hold E on me. Oh, except... Okay. Uh, invite me again, sorry. Sure. I was in my options. There you go. I can... <laughs> Stop Seriously, it. dude. I'm trying to hold a meeting here. There we are! Now I can see your name. And we'll also hey. share EXP, which is really useful. Yeah, I saw that last night when you were uh, streaming it. I'm going to harden my spear point. I'm getting really hot. I was getting really hot stood there. Still, some delicious foods. Oak. I genuinely don't recommend stabbing that. <laughs> can you throw your spears? Yeah, right click. Ah, right, okay. 
That's cool. Hoist it over your shoulder, and then you then you release. There's no there's no uh, camera to follow around. No. <laughs> no. But what I'm going to do oh. is go ahead our, uh... and increase that. Yes, we did. It, it's just that it ran out of fuel. That's all. Right. So I'm getting the hat and shoes. Yeah. All right. How do I split a stack? Shift. I tried that. It's not working. It's got to be in your inventory. Need to shift drag. Oh, yeah. shift drag. Okay, and it gives me half. Oh man, I'm I'm like burning up here. I'm way too hot. Does Let's charcoal? Does charcoal not burn? Uh, no, I don't think so. Lighter. Oh right, okay, fair enough. I don't know, you can leave it in there, but I don't think it'll actually affect anything in a positive way. Right, I shall make some shoes, two shoes, a hat, two hats. Oh, I better make some uh, gloves and pants, etc. Oh, I need some more fibers. Oh, my guy is really too warm. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, my guy looks so ridiculous in his, his little, like... Uh, Little moccasin cloth boots, his boxes, and his bandana. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Where are you, Steel Joe? I'm gathering some thatch. To I'm gonna create some outfits drop two you. items for you. Here's a hat. Here's oh. some boots. There oh, you thank you. You're very welcome. The hat and I've got some shoes. Oh, I didn't quite click on the shoes and I spun my character and he just went round and round and round and round and round. Oh, I need Good. more fiber. Oh, I got a load of thatch, but I didn't get any fiber. Where did I get fiber from? Uh, plants. Okay. Plants. Oh, I need to use my fist or the torch. There we go. Oh, what a lovely sunrise this is. This game is gorgeous. If you if you haven't noticed how gorgeous this game is, open your eyes. That's the first or step. Or increase, increase your graphical settings. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> Toast. <laughs> this game is lovely. It, it, it does look actually Wow, the Triceratops just took a dodo-sized poo. Oh, really? Almost on top of a dodo. Oh, wow, it just says that thing. Indeed. Right, I want skin. That thing made a noise and I wasn't happy with it. Fantastic. Full hide is exactly what I wanted. I would like to make myself a water skin. I'll now, I can make a hide sleeping bag. The side sleeping bag acts as a single use respawn point only usable by you. How that do I. Uh, oh, there it is. There you go, I dropped your, your shirt, it's underneath the uh, the trike. There you go. There we go, fantastic. Also, the other good thing about being in a tribe is that you can use your tribe's mounts. So, if I were to tame a mount, being in the same tribe as me means that you would be able to access that mount and use it if I wasn't around. Also, cool. as you can imagine... You know, we're sharing EXP right now. If we had a huge tribe, we would have... Wow, those trees. A ton of experience, yeah. Those those trees are going crazy. So it's a really, really strong incentive to actually group up. Group up, yeah. Which I like in games. Yep. Now, the next level I get, which I'm actually really close to... We'll give... I'm going to start grabbing the building materials... And we'll get ourselves a simple hut. I think that would be a good place to start. Oh, apparently I already had the engram for cloth bits. I can't remember clicking that. Oh, oh. well. Never mind then. At least you can make more. Oh, I just leveled off anyway. Yeah, so did I. We are sharing our EXPs. Right, so what do what do you say we're going to get? Probably going to start getting... Uh, give me just a second to uh, increase my move speed. I am going to go for... The thatch wall and there's the thatch foundation. Thatch foundation. So what would be really good if you could pick up is thatch door 
and thatch door frame. Right, door frame and I can't see door. It's a little bit further down, like two lines down from thatch door. Oh, I see it. I see it. Fantastic. Okay, well, on that note, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. We have finally met up. It The game is just about to go live. We're talking about 45 minutes away. So we have that long to try and build ourselves some form of uh, stable housing that will be able to stand the tests of many, many new players who may be curious about what wonders lay inside. Namely us on a sleeping bag. Ooh. Presents. Presents. <laughs> Yay! I'm no longer indecent. Fantastic. I'm gonna need yeah, those thanks hand a lot wraps. for watching, guys. Uh, oh, oh, that was a weird noise. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care.